Welcome to Hundred Percent Gamer. We're gonna figure out what side table drawer wants to sing about. That's just a purple or a green rhino. Is it just weird that the only like, things that interact with you change every time? No, that green rhino's been there every time. Loading, loading. We should really cut out the loading screens. It would be hard to like, fix the dialogue. Hey, it looks like blue. Uh, see, there was something in the water last time. It's different. He's the star of the show. Steve, focus up. I don't know, Steve still is like playing with the audience, not paying attention to what's going on. I don't know. It's like Steve doesn't even care about the music show. He does, He's not even bothered by the fact that Side Table Drawer doesn't know what she wants to sing about. Because they all like to sing about what they want to be. Like, the two of them are singing about veterinarians and stuff. Side table drawer doesn't know what she wants to be when she grows up. Side table drawer is gonna sing the blues song we're right now. <laughs> That's pretty lazy. <laughs> and it's gonna be the exact same recording. <laughs> no, don't go talk to Cash Register again. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Hi, yellow kitten. Can I come to your show? Man, it's fucking rude in this neighborhood. <laughs> what? It's rude to ask if you can come? Yeah. Wait to be invited. Yeah? Yeah. No one's ever gonna invite you, you know what I mean? <laughs> you just gotta show up. And then be like, oh, uh, gee. Sorry, yellow kitten. You don't have a ticket. <laughs> don't do it! No, you hear don't it? play a game with cash register. Look at him in the background. It sounds like drums. Yes, JPEG artifacts Maybe all around wants to learn about rhythm. <laughs> I guess she does. Do you want to go too? You do? Great. Let's go. Blue skid do. We want to go too. What even? <laughs> why are you so mad, bro? I'm mad. Explain why you're mad. It's been a mad Talk day. it out. Hi, Still mad about losing a Pokemon you help me make some rhythms on the drums? Wait, what? Is this a drum set button. with glasses? On the drums. <laughs> it's cool. <laughs> when you see a rest, don't press anything. If you want to skid you back, Shut up, Blue Cat. I'm done with you. Great. Let's play a rhythm game. I'll show you a beat, then you repeat you it with shit. Okay, now it's your turn. Ready? A one, a two, a three, go. You know, that's what the Rolling Stones always said. A one, a two, Oops, a three, that go. that was a rest. You fucked up. This is a game for 12-year-olds. Not even. This is a game for, like, four-year-olds. Yeah, I can do it. It's just gonna go forever. The musical notation isn't even right. Whoa, Blue! You're really grooving! Yeah, what's wrong with it? Because, well, there's nothing wrong with it in set, but it's not what they want to write. That first one there, and like the like one after the second rest, should be quarter notes. Yeah. It's wrong. I know it doesn't matter, I know they're not mentioning it or anything, but it's just putting a wrong idea in someone's head. Don't do it. Oh. Oh, a clue. Where? On the box. See what we would have missed out on if I had listened to you and not come here? So, now we need our handy dandy. Notebook. See, it's a book. Notebook. It's gonna be the fucking notebook song. It doesn't matter how you draw your clue, as long as you know what it is. Books. You watch. You just watch. Librarian. She Hi, Steve. Librarian. Hi, Blue. Shut up. I don't blame her. I would like to be a librarian. That's a pretty cool job. You could be a librarian. It's like the easiest job in the world to get. No, it's not. You need to fucking take librarian science. This is the thing. Why don't you take librarian science? How hard could it be? Pretty hard. They're like... You have to read every book. <laughs> you have to be good at shushing. 
<laughs> Lesson one. There's like a noisy kid in front of you, you gotta be like, shh. Okay, if we have to give one to the purple kangaroo again, I'm gonna lose it. <laughs> You're gonna lose it? I'm gonna lose it. Yeah. I've interacted with everything along the way at every screen the whole time, so viewers can go back and cross check. They can pick their favorites. But I think it's, it's someone yeah. make a compilation clip of your favorite tool tips for this game. They're just different for each app. That's all. Like, it's not a huge thing, but it's, you know the little things. It makes it feel different every time you go to these places. It tries to convince you that it's not actually looping. It's not looping. That's the same time. Oh. Hi. Hi, Orange Kid. Do you have a ticket for me? I'd love to come to the show. Will you be there too? Great. Thanks for the ticket. Still nine o'clock. Why put a clock and not have it move? Because they're trying to implant in a child's head the idea of nine subconsciously. It is always nine o'clock. Some nine kid is, is going to grow number. up and he's going to be in like grade three when they teach you about time. And they're going to be like, what time is it? And he's going to be like, nine o'clock. And they'll be like, no, you're stupid. And he'll be like, no, it's always nine o'clock. I learned that time. play in Blue's Clues. You think you're smarter than Blue? Like fucking Steve? Steve went to college. <laughs> Man, Steve would be an awesome Halloween costume. Man, that's such a typical Halloween costume. Millions of people do that every year. Steve? Yes. No way. Not still. Yeah. You get like a little blue dog. It's so freaking easy. You should be blue. That's why like Steve. Hello. Hey, Woodpecker. Did you come to invite me to the show? No. Because I'd love to come. No. Oh, you're the best. Thanks for the ticket. Peasant is really good at having friends. No. He's used to really trying to convince people to come to his shit. Okay, go talk to Mailbox. Tyson's used to like going up to Eric and be like, Do you want to go to my show? And Eric's like, Oh, well, I guess. And Tyson's like, Please! Please! Well, hello there! Dude, I have like a Mailbox friend. I have like three different colors of kitten friends. Dude, you can't even interact with the birds anymore. I know, see, it's different every time less good. <laughs> it's atrophied. Loading. Loading. It's loading time. What's the loading dog? <laughs> We still haven't had anything with Mr. Salt and Mrs. Pepper. I know. What's up with that? Maybe this is where the mother in the hospital had to be Whoa. Hey, Tickety. Are you almost ready for the big music show? Steve, it's almost time, and I'm not ready. I'm drawing a picture, but I don't have all the crayons I need to finish. Shit. I think Mailbox was using them in the backyard. Mailbox? Maybe we God damn it, Mailbox. This is one of our specials. I need the red crayon to finish my picture. Will you help me look for the red crayon? You will. Great. Fuck. Mailbox, give shit back. Mailbox is bad at this. So we never, we're never going to see that tape again. A clue, a clue. Oh, a clue. Where? On the blackboard. On the blackboard. So, Teacher. now we need our handy dandy notebook. Teacher. Notebook. Right. It doesn't matter how you Call draw right a here. clue, as long as you know what it is. A blackboard. What are we, about eight minutes in? That's how quick I figured it out. Dude, I'm telling you, it's a notebook. Oh, hi, Blue. Hi, Steve. Okay, we gotta go get the crown. Yeah, you think that's gonna be a clue? Yeah, that's 
how it works. There's one thing I've learned from Blue's Blue's is pattern recognition. It's good because pattern recognition is an important part of what it is to be a human being. It's true. It's where our intelligence comes from. Animals do not recognize patterns. That's why they're... Some do, but not as effectively as humans. Yeah. I think I remember a dog seeing crayons somewhere That's around the here. the point of the Pavlov dog experiment. Then... I hope we're done after this. Why? Because Aren't you having fun? I'm not even well, learning. No more, what did you do with the fucking crayon? Oh, oh. We have to get those crayons. But did you see the sprinklers? Well, to get to the crayons, we can't go through the sprinklers when they are on. But we can jump over them. We can't go through the sprinklers. I wish some kids to like, jump over sprinklers to go around them. Okay, so this is easy as fuck. Okay, you gotta bring it all the way back. I think. Oh, right, it was the red one. Wasn't it? Particular. I can only carry one at once. Oh, yeah. Well, there's two yellow ones, so I'm guessing it's not the yellow ones. No, it's yellow, orange, and red. Oh. I think. I mean, we have to bring them all back one by one. No, I think it was the red one, but. Uh. Tickety said she was even. Okay, well, if it's the schoolhouse, then you're right. It's a song about being a teacher. Unfortunately, she's a drawer. She'll never be a <laughs> no, teacher. A, oh, yeah, I guess, yeah. Yeah, she's a drawer. She's a side table drawer. Because she could be a teacher. She's not even a regular table drawer. Yo. She could be anything she wants to be. And so can you. She can't even be the whole table. <laughs> Yo, shut up! <laughs> You can just, like, take the table, put it in front of the classroom, and she can talk to the kids. Okay. Thanks, Thanks for, finding for finding my crayons. I'm finished, and just in time. Look what I drew. It's a picture of a schoolhouse. I oh, love to play there's school. There's a clue on it. How did you already touch it? Oh, a clue. Where? Where? Do you know where I know? Yeah. Blue's paw print is on the schoolhouse picture. Also, this is a really bad way to decide decisions to hard problems. Go around and look what your dog has touched. Just pick three things and think about it. That's the solution proposed by the show. It could work. It's like a it's like a brainstorming exercise. That is their. I know it could work. <laughs> now it's time to sit in our thinking chair. Thinking chair. Right. Okay, you ready for this Let's shit? Go. This is a stunning conclusion. <sighs> This is Blue's Clues Legacy. Prostitute. Okay. Drug We've got dealer. all three clues. Now we just have to put them together and figure this out. We need to figure out what side table wants to sing about in the You Can Be Anything You Wanna Be song. Our clues are a black planet song, a picture of a schoolhouse, and books. I like the planet song. What would side table sing about that has books, a blackboard, and a schoolhouse? Man, this doesn't go for like any of the same humor. Okay, wait, what? I'm gonna doctor? say. Doctor? Oh? I know, that's the teacher. What, what, I think we're the doctor, maybe that's librarian, I don't know. School teacher! A school teacher! Side Table wants to sing about being a school teacher! That's it! Because in a schoolhouse, a teacher reads books with their students and writes on a blackboard. What a great thing to want to be! Okay. Well, I think it's almost time to start the big music show. Man, like, let's go to the okay, backyard and see how it's going. Clues, clues. All the humor comes from like Steve is actually really dumb. That's always a joke. He like guesses the complete wrong thing. You're like, oh no, we just figured out. Didn't do that. Cause we're really smart. Steve just gets it on the first try every time. He's like fucking chairs, tickets, and friends. Fucking audience. Bam. Well, I think that, you know, you, the like, kid is supposed to be kind of stupid as well. Pick the wrong one, and then it would be Steve being wrong. Are we ready to go on? Yeah. Steve, I need to put my costume on. Go on. Steve, we need to get our props. Well, get Steve, ready! We what have you been doing? Uh -oh. We've been wandering We're around the ready, city. But the audience is. Who could we get to go on stage while we finish getting ready? We need to find Periwinkle. 
Wait, what? <laughs> okay, so it's fine periwinkle. Then we're done. <laughs> we're almost there. <laughs> what the hell is periwinkle? Periwinkle's the blue cat. Well, to be fair, this is the last place I saw her, so. Well, hello there! Well, hello there. I think he'll be in the house. All the clouds look like blue. Do they really? A number of them. I thought they looked like music notes. There's ones that look like music notes, too, I think. And Steve only has like two things that he does in the background. He wanders from it's side to PS1. side. It's the PS1. Like, all really things considered, this looks pretty good for PS1. Honestly, it looks a lot like the show. This is not what the Cups did last time. It's different. Dude, we should do cup stacking or something. Cup stacking is fun. I was like really good at cup stacking for a while. Me too. Did you have like the mat with the timer and everything? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That stuff's all the same as it was. Maybe it's always been the same, and I'm just completely tripping. I worry. I worry that I'm tripping. Yeah. I'm tripping on Endo. Okay, maybe Perry Winkle does in town. It's possible. soap all over his body every time he takes a bath. <laughs> Yo, don't worry about it. <laughs> I'm worried. I'm concerned. He does, but it's like in a fun way. It's not like... <laughs> <laughs> it's not creepy. Okay. He just rubs her all over his body in a totally non-creepy way. I think Soap's supposed to be a dude. Is Soap a dude? I think so. It's hard to tell because they all have kid voices and boys and girls sound the same. <gasps> there he is. Hi, Steve. Hi, Blue. Is the show almost ready? Periwinkle. We're so glad we found you. Can you start the show? With a magic trick? Is there a word cut out trick. there? <laughs> well, Pretty sure he just said, so glad trick. we found you can start the show. A magic trick. Would you want to see Periwinkle do a magic trick? Yes! You no. Would? Okay then. Periwinkle, why don't you do a magic trick? Again. And then we'll start the big music show. Sure, Steve. I'd love to. But when I perform, I like to have my whole magic collection. But I don't have it all. Some of it is out here in the yard. Will you help me find the missing part of my magic collection so I can go on? If we help Periwinkle find part of his magic collection, he'll start the show for us. The stuff for my collection might be hidden behind things in the yard. So if you have to move something to check behind it, get really close to it. And Perry Presto press the X button. Perry Pocus Hocus Crocus. This is the object that I want you to bring into focus. Let's find a blue ball. You, find you it have it. it back to it's me, in your hand. <laughs> it's in your hand. It's still in your hand. Can you make this object a hero? Perry Pocus Hocus Crocus. This is the object that I want you to bring into focus. Will you find it and bring it back to me, please? Rhyming isn't a magic trick. I am learning that some shapes are different you than You made it a hero! You're learning I recognition. Can you make this object a hero? 
the, the two things Harry Pocus Hocus Crocus. This is the object that I want, I want you, you to, to bring, bring into focus. focus. Oh wow, pattern recognition to too. Me, You're crazy. Please? You're so good at this. Ew. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Pay attention. This is a lesson. So Hocus Procus, learn you to focus. You made it up here all. I can't yeah. believe my eyes. How right, about this one? So. Can you make okay. this object up here all? Harry Pocus Hocus Crocus. This bring is the this object that I focus. want you to bring into focus. Will you find it and bring it back to me, please? It's right next to you. I think we're ready. Periwinkle is going to be our special magic opening eyes are off act. Center. We should get ready. The show's about to start. Ugh. This is great. Everyone is here and ready to watch the big music show. <laughs> Thank you all for coming. This is and great. now on with the You Can Be Anything You Want to Be show. We have an extra special opening act starring the amazing Periwinkle. Greetings. I, the amazing Periwinkle, will perform my best trick yet. You won't okay, believe your eyes. Be Pick Are you a ready card, for this? any card. No, not that one. Little one. Yeah, yeah, that one. Right there. You picked a two. <gasps> thank you, thank you. Thank you that very was much. That was magic trick. And now, that was not a trick. for the biggest trick of all. Periwinkle, you could see the cards, and we couldn't. <laughs> Wow, that was really cool. We have a special friend here to help us play one of our favorite songs. The Planet Song. What? Well, the sun's a hot star, <laughs> and Mercury's hot too. Venus is the brightest planet, and Earth's home to me and you. you can't say a song Mars with the sun. is the red one, <laughs> and Jupiter's <laughs> most wide. Saturn's got the moon's icy rings, <laughs> and Uranus spins on its side. <laughs> Neptune's really windy, and Pluto's really small. Well, we wanted to name the planets, and now we name them all. Hey, let's hear it for the band. What a let's great job. Let's hear it for the sun. Okay, is everyone ready for the big finale? It's time for the You Can Be Anything You Want to Be song. I swear to God, song. Steve, if you're teasing us again. Bubble effects. They're hypnotizing. <laughs> and side table doors, side table drawer is not even singing. <laughs> I didn't even do the part about the fucking Words really help. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Show us. Steve wants to be unemployed. He wants to go to college. What's he going to college for? Wow, that Play was a really great life. show. <laughs> we never could have done it without your help. Come back and see us anytime. Uh, you love putting on the You Can Be Anything You Want to Be show. Did you like it? I loved it. So long. Bye. Bye, Steve. <laughs> Well, the sun's a hot star. We won! Interactive. We won! We did it. I want to see who is the sun. This is the red one. And Jupiter's most wide. Saturn's got those icy rings. And Uranus spins on its side. Neptune's really small. Saturn's got the moon's icy rings. And Uranus spins on its side. 
really windy, and Pluto's really small. Well, Ginger Martinez. I think Kate Longer is a better name. David Broder. Man, Amy Starr with two R's. That is a porn star name. <laughs> it's so true. <laughs> I think I've seen her before. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. The sun. Mr. Salt and Mrs. Pepper weren't even in the game. Dude, the sun is non credited. Okay, well that's enough of that. No, it's not. Yes, yes it is. Let's end with Edward Heidenreich. Next time on 100% Gamers. <laughs>